Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. David Woolley turned into a piece of Christine's life, as well as joined Sister Spouses for season 18. He make his unscripted television debut during the detailed account fragment, and watchers can't get enough of him and Christine. The couple discussed their sentiment while they talked about the continuous elements of the family in the episode. David finally made the decision to speak out about Cody in the midst of all of this. He shared his thoughts on the latter and made some shocking revelations in the process. What was Woolley implying? Does he like Christine's ex? Not only has David Woolley joined the franchise, but he has also spilled a lot of tea. Fans were in shock when he made his presentation in Sister Spouses season 18, as they weren't hoping to meet him this soon. David at first discussed how he met Christine and went gaga for her. In any case, Shukanya rushed to pose the inquiry that watchers had been sitting tight for starting from the start. She inquired about Woolley's true feelings regarding Cody and whether or not he had changed his mind since meeting Christine. David, with most extreme trustworthiness, replied, he wears his feelings on his sleeve. He proceeded, a ton. Furthermore, at times you must not, however that is him. Woolley expressed that he basically can't utter a word in an unexpected way, since that is the manner by which Cody is. David acknowledged that he would never be like that. However, he believes that Cody might want others to hear him. Sukanya reportedly asked him once more if he felt empathy for Cody after whatever had transpired. Woolley answered that things can clearly get overpowering on occasion. However, as far as he might be concerned, his children generally start things out. Thus, David feels that it won't work for him assuming somebody attempts to push him. He came to the conclusion, no, that won't work. You know, there's room for everyone, she said. After realizing that David had never been mean to the ex-wife of his wife, it was a pleasant moment for Sister Wives fans. Sister spouses tell all host worked really hard by facing Cody about his affections for David Woolley. He basically expressed that he didn't have the foggiest idea about the last option face to face. After breaking up with him and living a happy life, the celebrity hoped that Christine was choosing well. However, Cody continued with a jab, I'm not judging him, but my life has been public for years, as he always did. However, he didn't express a lot about David, he doubtlessly blamed Christine for knocking him for Woolley. According to Cody, Christine needed to obliterate his personality since she needed to wed David Woolley. He made sense of, David doesn't feel like he can wed her since she left a decent man. The celebrity emphasized that he is a good man and that his marriage to Christine was simply bad. Sukania explained to Cody that David had no awful affections for him. He responded, good, that's awesome, and it appeared as though he had been taken aback by this. However, he clarified that Christine needs to quit let their children know that he is definitely not a decent man. Cody was firm on the way that he wouldn't allow this to go until his youngsters returned to him. Sister spouses fans generally show a profound interest in the LLCs, including the wives of Cody Brown. As of late, data showed up that uncovered Janelle, Robin, Mary, and Christine Brown each have their own LLCs for their checks from Tender Loving Care. It follows the news that the Cody Earthy Colored Family Amusement, LLC in Nevada, scraped to close down on October 8. In 2022, Cody recorded his new TABSARK Amusement LLC. On the off chance that you don't have the foggiest idea, it represents Dayton, Aurora, Brianna, Solomon, Ariella, Robin, and Cody. As can be seen, it favors Robin's children, and the other children and wives are not involved. Normally that irritated tender loving care fans since season 10 uncovered an inclination for them over different kids. The OGs and sister spouses previously made their own LLCs and began organizations. For instance, Janelle made an intense stride and enrolled her organization, J-N-E-L-A-E Earthy Colored PLEXUS LLC, on November 29, 2022. 
The tender loving care star has a recorded place of work. The retail trade company NTYK LLC is also registered at the same address. Then there's Christine Earthy Colored who enrolled hers in Walk 2022 under Pill EXVS with Cupristine LLC. As of recently, watchers generally contemplated whether Cody Brown controlled the cash from tender loving care. Naturally, this suspicion grew when Derek Dillard claimed that Jim Bob Duggar did not pay him for their appearances on reality television. In any case, Robin, Mary, Cody, Janelle, Christine, and Mary Earthy colored all involved a solitary LLC for that. Clearly the cash went into the LLC, permitting every grown-up relative to get to the assets. Nonetheless, it appeared to be a piece unreasonable seeing Janelle Brown needed to ask for her home to be constructed while Robin dwelled in her manor. In December 2023, an OP conducted a thorough investigation into the Sister Wives LLCs on Reddit. Also, it seems as though things changed. Every spouse presently has their own LLC for the attention checks. Christine made hers most memorable than Mary, However, what's unusual is the two of them have similar enrolled specialists for their organizations. So, I'm going to guess that they both hired someone to run the LLC and deal with it. It's also odd that Mary was the last to tell people she was leaving, but she seemed prepared enough to know that she needed to start her own business. Janelle made hers last, which I suppose could be related to the asset division she was referring to. A couple of brief days after Mary... Cody made another LLC through a holding organization, and for reasons unknown Robin was excluded from the first documenting. However, she naturally added herself a few months later and established herself as a statutory agent. Are you pleased to see that Christine Mary and Janelle now use their own LLCs for TLC checks? Please let us know in the section below. Sister Spouse's star Mary Brown has ultimately depended on numerous extraordinary things this year. She began her year with her separation declaration with Cody Brown. Fans at long last took a moan of help subsequent to acknowledging Mary has at long last focused on her own self. From that point forward, the unscripted television star has been flaunting her single life since her split with the earthy colored family patriarch. For the past few months, Mary Brown's new look has been adored by fans. Additionally, the TLC star has been spending more time with her friends and trying out new activities. Mary has been exploring different avenues regarding her hopes to match her new mentality as well. In a recent post, the mother of one gave her fans hints about upcoming life changes. What is she doing now? At first, Mary Brown seemed like a boring person, Fans needed the sister spouse's star to quit crying over Cody Brown and think that she is worth. After ending her unloving marriage, she did exactly the same thing. She has been amazing the audience by changing her life. Besides, the unscripted television celeb took on a terrible mentality during the new tell-all episode. Additionally, the mother of one has clarified that she couldn't care less about Cody and his issues any longer. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.